the reason for that is, as you can see, this is timed. Oh, it's just so you can get another summon thing. Yes, Odin. Yes. Um. Oh, and look what we have here. Oh my god, it's a Tonberry! Kill it! Kill it quickly! <laughs> if I tried to kill that thing, I, there's no way I would make the time limit, even if I did survive the battle. I love them Tonberries. I will be killing a lot of them at some point later. In fact, I will be going. I will be going specifically to kill them at a point later. But so I don't know what that my blue heaven sign was a reference to. I mean, there is an attack in this game called My Final Heaven, which I know is a reference to Tifa's Final Heaven. But I don't know if My Blue Heaven has to do with either of those things. Curious. So it's like two ladders. Crap, which one do I climb? I will just guess one of them. <laughs> so the encounter half and encounter none abilities make this easier because you do not waste time running from battles. And there is a drop point here. Let's see what it has. Arrow... Yeah, moderately good spell. Not great for junctioning, but if you want to add winds to uh, elemental attack or defense, that'll do it. And I guessed the wrong ladder. You got a draw point at least. Yes, but that won't put the time back on the clock. Um, your battle setup, by the way, should be focused heavily on attack for this place. Don't worry too much about protecting your carrier characters against various, um, you know, attacks and status ailments and stuff, because you're going to be running away from fights, except for one of them. Okay, so this must be the correct ladder. Unless I'm missing something entirely. And I was worried for a second that I was, because it looked like those, you know, diagonal stairs, it looked like those stairs should be there. But they weren't. It was another ladder. Yes. yes. Sneaky little things. And look, random machinery in ancient ruins. That's always a good sign. And ladder fail. No. And now I am trying to figure out what that machine did. All of the things. <laughs> no, I have a better one. It did exactly what it was designed to do. Which is? Everything has no It's a mystery. Yep, that's what it did. And then when you press X there, those stairs that looked like they might appear did appear. Oh, hey. <laughs> so we have to take a roundabout route to get up those stairs and to this point. That door, which you probably saw before the battle began, um, is where you eventually need to go. This is a forbidden. Um, for now, I'm not going to fight it, but you can farm curse spikes from these guys. And you need 100 curse spikes to make a certain item that you need for uh, Quistus's most powerful limit break. <laughs> By the way, it has come to my attention that I have been mispronouncing her name for the entire project. 
I'm going to keep pronouncing it that way simply for consistency's sake. Keistus. Keistus? That's what I read. Keistus. Well, like I said, we're... Yes. Are you aware that one of the... One of the voice actresses goes by the uh, internet handle Keish? Or nickname, generally? That's what we call her. So, there are two statues, each of which has one eye, and I'm trying to remember at this point wh whose eye you remove first. And I finally settle on this one. The, the way it works is you have to have both eyes... You have to have both eyes in the same statue before the statue will do what it before it will perform its function. I <laughs> and Odin randomly says something else at this point. It's like you could have said that like six minutes ago <laughs> when it would have made more sense. What about Forbidden's? It's called a Forbidden. Alright, so... I actually get I remembered correctly what you have to what you want to do is take the lower statue's eye and put it into the upper statue and leave in the leave in the eye that was already there. When both eyes are in you will get a 5 digit code. Then take out both of the eyes. So the code I believe will change from one playthrough to another. So it's not important that you see what the code is here. Just how you just need to see how to get it in and put it in. Okay. Oh, I got a message from somebody. Wait, who who messaged me? Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, so last step to open this door is to put the code in here. Before you can do that, you have to put both eyes into this statute. I almost said statute. That shows you that I have been thinking about the law too much. <laughs> Okay, so just use the arrow buttons to enter the numbers, and then... Wait, what? Uh, uh, how does that even... <laughs> this is Final Fantasy, remember? No, no. And then press circle to... to uh, leave the code entry and confirm whatever code you've put in. That confused me. I was thinking X should have done it. Like, even if it is Final Fantasy, that just didn't make any sense. You lit a fire, and then numbers appeared above it. What? Okay, so when Odin says fight, he means you guys beat up on me while I stand there and do nothing. The only way to lose this fight is if the time is if you run out of time.
because he will not do anything at all during the battle. Which is why, like I said, your setup should be focused heavily on attack. I was using the draw command just to see what those new spells were so that they don't show up as question marks anymore. Now it's time to start the beatdown. Okay. So here I was just seeing if he had any weaknesses and how many hit points he had. 6,400 hit points is not that much at this point in the game. Yes, the thing about GFs in this battle is that they can do a lot of damage, but on the other hand, their attack animations can be long, which means they suck up a lot of time. <laughs> yes. And I decided that probably wasn't enough damage to justify the long animation. And that was not enough damage to justify much of anything. Well, the, I still have one character without a strength junction. That will change soon, but not quite yet. Trying to find where I put the spell I wanted. <laughs> Triple is like double, except better. <laughs> Let's you cast three spells of the same kind in one turn. Note that you al also use up three of the same spell. Unless you have a certain GF ability that you don't get until late in the game. Somebody still has the sound on. I can hear it. Or maybe that's on my end, I don't know. Oh well, it's pretty soft anyway. Okay, I just muted it, so it can't be on my end. Oh, maybe it's... maybe Jen didn't mute it. Oh well. So, I'm like, okay, um, we may not be doing enough damage here. So, I'm gonna go to plan B soon. <laughs> And this attack, and this attack animation is kind of long as well. And it doesn't, and the spell doesn't really do much more damage than anything else. So I'm having Irvin shoot himself, so that his hit points get low enough so that he can do a limit break. Okay, apparently I, and I had Renoa do that, and Irvin just attempted to shoot himself and missed. Wow. Oh, and then, and then he attempted to shoot Renoa and missed, and yet Renoa still woke up. Okay, so this is what I want. Now we have people doing limit breaks. That did marginally more damage. <laughs> okay. And I, I'm trying to steal something from him with Squall, because I figure he probably has something good. I don't think I ever did succeed. I'm not sure if I would have made it in time going along like this. Fortunately, the armor piercing ammo does a rather large amount of damage. Yep. And you get his card for winning and a bunch of ability points. And he joins you. <laughs> 